Testing is being done right now at several places in our area. It's day five of an empty tent at one of two testing sites set up by the city of Mobile. Mayor Standy Stimson expects as many as a thousand test kits could arrive as early as next week, but hospitals will get first dibs. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey continues our team coverage tonight. Andrew, this virus is taking an economic toll on the city of Mobile. That's right, Kim. The city is bracing for a 30% loss in revenue this month and next month. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson releasing rough estimates this afternoon. He says it's anticipated that the city will lose $7.2 million this month and again next month. But the mayor warns that number could very easily double if there are ever stay at home orders issued. Right now, there are no plans, he says, to uh, take any drastic action like furlough employees or lay anyone off. He says the city has a, a roughly $42 million in a rainy day fund that will help weather this storm. Have a cushion. We're going to be operating as frugally as we can, uh, but we've got to be able to pay the policemen, the firemen, the garbage truck drivers, uh, and the essential services. And those are the things that are going through our mind is that how do we continue that knowing that we really can't predict how long this is going to last. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, the steps the city's taking to stop people from gathering at our local parks. Reporting live tonight in downtown Mobile, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.